ऑल आई एम प्रोफेसर सविता बोडके एंड वेलकम टू दी न्यू लेक्चर माई टूडेज टॉपिक इज नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू सो फॉर दैट वी आर हैविंग वन इलेस्ट्रेशन ओवर हियर डी सी एफ लिमिटेड इज इम्प्लीमेंटिंग अ प्रोजेक्ट विद अ इनिशियल कैपिटल आउटले ऑफ रुपीज एट थाउजेंड इट्स कैश इन फ्लोज आर एस अंडर दे हैव गिवन यू द डेटा फॉर दी फोर ईयर ईयर वन टू थ्री फोर एंड दे हैव गिवन यू द कैश इन फ्लो फॉर दी रिस्पेक्टिव फोर ईयर्स then they have given you information that the expected rate of return is 12% per annum calculate the net present value and comment if the project should be taken up what information they have given you over here in this illustration they have given you information that this dcf limited wants to take one project and for that they are having initial capital outlay means the initial investment of rupees 8000 and with the help of this 8000 rupees initial investment they are able to earn a cash inflow for the respective 4 years means this project is having a life of 4 years then they have given you that the expected rate of return is of the 12% per annum and now we have to calculate the net present value for this particular project and we have to recommend that whether this organization has to take up this project or they have to reject this project so how we are going to solve this now they have given you the information of year and cash inflows that we are going to take down over here but how we are going to solve this net present value for that we have to prepare one table of four columns the first column is year next column is cash inflow the third column is discount factor and the last column is present value so students directly in a examination can write down the short form that is cash inflow as ci discount factor as df and the present value as p v now in a question itself they have given you the cash inflow so what i am going to do i am going to take down this cash inflows as it is so the cash inflow for the first year given is 6000 rupees so we are going to write down 6000 rupees as it is for the second year the cash inflow is 2000 so we are going to write down the cash inflow for the second year is rupees 2000 for the third year it is 1000 and for the fourth year it is 5000 so i am going to write down this cash inflow as it is that is 1000 and 5000 now the next one is calculation of your discount factor now how to calculate that discount factor for that they have given you information that the expected rate of return is 12% per annum means now we have to calculate the discount factor at a rate of the 12% now already i have uploaded one lecture for the calculation of discount factor if you are not comfortable with the discount factor or you are not aware that how to calculate the discount factor first go and watch that lecture so directly over here i am going to start with the discount factor now they have given you that the expected rate of return is 12% so how we are going to calculate the discount factor that will be 1 divided by 1.12 okay because the expected rate of return is 12% so for the first year we will have the discount factor of 0.893 now the fourth digit is 8 so i am going to round up this and we are going to take down this as 0.893 so for the first year we are having the discount factor of 0.893 now for the second year i am just directly going to press it as is equal to and you will get the discount factor for the second year that is 0.797 the discount factor for the second year is 0. 797 for the third year again is equal to and you will get the discount factor for the third year now that will be 0.712 so i am going to write down this as 0.712 now the next one for the fourth year the discount factor again we are going to press is equal to so it will be 0.636 because the fourth digit is 
5 so we are going to add 1 to this 5 and it will be 0 0.636 so we are going to write down this as 0 0.636 now the next step is calculation of your present value now how we are going to calculate this present value that is simply your cash inflow in to your discounting factor so right now what we are going to do 6000 into 0.893 so your present value 6000 into 0.893 your present value will be 5358 now for the second year it will be 2000 into 0 0.797 and it will be 1594 now for the third year it will be 1000 into 0 0.712 so it will be 712 and for the fourth year it is 5000 into 0 0.636 so it will be 3180 always remember that your present value amount will be always lower than your cash inflow 6000 is the cash inflow your present value is lower than this so you have to remember that always your amount of the present value will be lower as compared to your cash inflow now the next step is what we have to do we have to add all this present value and you will get a total of your cash inflow so what we are going to do we are going to add all this that is 5358 okay 5358 this is the present value for the first year then we are going to add in this 1594 that is for the second year for the third year it is 712 and for the fourth year that is 3180 so the total of your cash inflow is rupees 10,844. So we are going to write down this as total of your cash inflow. This is 10,844. From this you have to deduct the total of your cash outflow. So the total of your cash outflow they have already given you in the question that is your initial capital outlay is of rupees 8000. So what we are going to do that is we are going to subtract this 8000 over here. Now the difference between two is your net present value. So from this 10844 you have to deduct 8000 rupees. So your answer is 2844 now in the question they have asked you that first we have to calculate the net present value then again we have to comment whether this organization has to take up this project so the answer is yes the organization has to take up the project now why because the NPV is positive so always remember that whenever the NPV is positive, it means that that organization has to take up that particular project. Suppose if the NPV is negative. So in that situation, the organization should not take up that particular project. And suppose if there are the two projects, uh, let's assume that right now we are having a present project which is having a net present value of rupees 2844 this is the project one and you are having the another project which is giving you the net present value of rupees 10,000 so whenever you are having two projects always you have to select such type of project which is having higher NPV correct so NPV is nothing but your profit so always you should go for the higher profit so now we have to write down the conclusion over here so we have to write down this conclusion very clearly that npv is positive npv is positive hence we should go ahead with a project Okay, 
सो आई होप दैट दिस कंसेप्ट ऑफ नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू इज क्लियर टू यू गाइज अगेन आई रिवाइज वॉट वी हैव स्टडीड ओ यर दिस वॉज योर क्वेश्चन इन अ क्वेश्चन दे हैड स्पेसिफाई द इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट they have given you the data for the 4 years they have given you the cash inflow and they have given you the expected rate of return is of the 12% per annum so how to calculate your npv with the help of this information so we prepare a table of four columns the first column was year next column was cash inflow next one was discount factor and next is present value the year we have taken as it is from your illustration the cash inflow also as it is we have taken from your illustration discount factor we have calculated how we have calculated this discount factor because they have given you that expected rate of return is of the 12% so with the help of that 12% we have computed this discount factor now how we have computed this present value the present value is a multiplication of your cash inflow into your discount factor so 6000 into 0.893 we got the present value of 5358 so we got all the present value for all this respective four years now the next step what we have done we have added all this amount so we got the total of cash inflow from this we subtracted your total of your cash outflow that is nothing but your initial investment the initial investment we had is of rupees 8000 so we are having the net present value for this particular project is of rupees 2844 so now the conclusion is this npv is positive so we should go ahead with a project again please remember that if they have given you the two projects so you have to select such type of project which is having a higher net present value if any project is having a negative value so you are not going to take up that particular project so i hope that this concept is clear to you guys thank you so much for watching this lecture